All right, so I have my digital coloring layers. I have my black bread on top. I have my white bread on the bottom, but I also have gray bread and black bread, and I want my coloring to look good on all of them. I'm gonna be showing additional special effects at the beginning of next class to remind you of beyond the full spectrum color, which is what I've shown you so far. We can do things with color holds on top of that black line art, and then we can do things around it, adding an offset border so it shows up well on dark backgrounds, and then we can even color separate it into professional printing halftone dots. But for now, I'm gonna submit a very competent, you know, full color spot illustration that's digitally colored behind the line art. And what I do is I turn off all of my background layers so it's empty. I decide on the coloring effects I want. I think this was the full spectrum effect I liked instead of the glitchier one. but it can be tricky. Yeah, I think I like this. All right, so now what I do is I say, within, come on, within PhotoP, file, save my work as my PSD, right? And then export it with the background turned off as a PNG. And this should be plenty big that's going to go to downloads. Then I go to the assignment and where I've posted already my sketch. Oh, wrong course. Let's see. So I can skip to it by going to assignments, assignment five. It's also big. Scroll down to where I've posted my sketch and my vector line art. I am now going to post my full color spot illustration, which is my third requirement. And you post it the same way as a PNG, just like you did your vector line art at that resolution at 14 by 11 inches by 350 pixels per inch. If yours is taller than it is wide, then it would be 11 by 14. So where is my PNG? It's in my downloads. Drop it in. Remember, you have the background turned off so that if you were to just open it in preview, you'll see it on gray. That's because there is no background, and PNGs support transparency that way. And I'm just going to shrink its borders down so it fits nicely underneath my writing. And those are the three requirements. Your sketch, your clean line art, and then your full colored spot illustration. And with that PNG, I could put that onto Redbubble and start selling stickers, t-shirts, as long as I, I own the intellectual property represented here. Right? So if you're doing your own version of Pikachu for this, think twice before putting it on Redbubble. But why I like Redbubble, which is under links, is that you can also set the things so that only you can see them. So that they're not public, right? And we'll talk more about that next class as we learn more of these special, special effects for coloring. So I hope you have fun with the coloring over the Halloween weekend. And we'll... There you go. And we'll see a lot of personality in your submissions. All right.